everyone, my name is Marcel and this we will learn how to get emails from our Gmail account in YPath. So I have here already some uh, emails just to test if we can get them on YPath. So first we have to use activity that will uh, so access to our inbox and extract the emails from it. So let's click here on activities and let's type in here on the search mail. And we will see that we have many activities uh, for uh, so different uh, providers. So Exchange, EBM Notes, uh, Protocol IMAP, Outlook, Pop3 and CMTP protocol. So in this case, we'll use the IMAP protocol to get emails from our inbox. So let's drag this activity to our project. And now let's click on it to see the properties that we have to define. So first we have to provide the port and the server uh, to get the emails from our Gmail account. So here port, as we are using uh, the IMAP protocol, will be the port 993. The server, it's the IMAP. So let's open quotes because it's it pass a string. So quotes and now imap.gmail.com. So basically uh, like this. So now that we define the port on the server, we have to pass here so the email of our Gmail account and the password. So first here email, let's open double quotes. And let's paste here the email. And now uh, the password. So I will use here the activity get passwords. And now, so uh, let's input here our password. And then let's declare a variable that will store so the password that it's here. So let's do here control plus key. And let's here find the name str password. And let's access again to the properties of our activity. And let's pass here the variable that we created right now. Then you can see here that we have some options like a delete message if they are uh, read. And then we can here apply some filters, uh, mark the emails as read or not. So it's uh, so options that we can use but now in this case let's declare a variable that will contain the output so in this case will be the list of message on this case mail message that we have on, on our inbox so let's create the variable can be mail message So now let's test if it's working. So we can see here that the emails aren't read. So if we enable this option and execute the automation, if it can access to our inbox, here we, we will see that the emails are read. So let's here define this option. So let's check and let's run our automation. So we can see that we got here exception with the message invalid credentials. So if it shows here uh, this exception, it's because we have to enable the access to 30 apps on your Gmail account. So to do that, uh, so you have here to go to your uh, Gmail account. So let's open it. And then you'll have to click on this option and then click here on account. Then you'll have to click here on this option, security. And now just scroll and you'll see here uh, the option less secure app access. So we have to enable this option. So let's click here on turn on access. And let's check here, let's turn on. And now let's try again. So let's run again our automation. And as you can see, now we don't got any exceptions. So let's see here if they are marked as read. So let's just refresh. 
So now, as we can see, our white path process has access to our inbox and Mark has read the emails. So now let's learn how we can uh, iterate each email and get data from each one. So like the subject and the body. So uh, first we have to create a loop for each email so we can see the data from each one. So to create a loop, let's use the action for each. So let's drag this action after the get IMAP mail message activity. And now here we have to um, change the type argument of the for each because we will iterate mail message, not objects. So let's click here on the browse for types. Let's type in here mail message. And now let's click here on the option mail message from system.net.mail. And let's click here on OK. Now, so let's here just change for each mail in. So on this variable, so let's pass it here, mail message. And now let's use a message box. And now here, let's try, for example, to get just the subject. So let's type in here. So the variable related to the iterated email. So mail dot. And we can see here some functions. So for example, uh, BCC will return to us uh, who are in BCC. We have body. We have uh, so CC. We have many options. Reply to either's. So let's select the subject and let's click on OK and let's run our automation. So our automation didn't read any mail because they are. And so I forgot that. Let's just change that. So let's mark these ones as unread. And let's run again our process. And so as we can see, we are getting the subject from this email. So let's click on OK. And now we are getting from this one and then we'll get from the last and the automation will finish its execution. Now let's try to get so uh, the body from uh, each email. So let's just mark as a red uh, again. So let's reload. Let's so mark as a red. And now uh, to get the, the body from each email, it's a bit different. So if you, we use here the body function, it will return empty text. So to really get the body from our emails from Gmail, let's type in here first headers. Now let's open parentheses, double quotes. And now here, let's type in plain text. And let's run our automation to see if it will work. So we are getting here uh, the body. So let's see from each email. So we can see it's the body from this email. Now we are getting from this one and then in last, from this email and so we can see and we have learned how to get emails from our Gmail account and how to get data from each one so we created here a loop for each email and we have learned how to get like the subject and the body from each one so I hope you liked this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more white path related videos bye bye